All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today is another update for Knights Chronicle. And now we have three new characters. Again, <laughs> Jesus. Three new characters in a row? Uh, they're not in the Shadow Guild. I think they're in the Honorables, aren't they? At least that's what I remember. Uh, this one is Adventure Dungeon. Yeah, it looks like your typical, like, <laughs> anime high school punk. Like the delinquents, his first attack is something that stacks high blooded instinct. Not sure what that is, but we'll figure it out. His second skill is he attacks two to three opponents, depending on where you place it. And a defense in order to target all allies except the caster gets their attack increased by one turn and decreases the caster's. Whoa. Yeah, it decreases his chance of getting his counter and multi strike. I guess that is kind of a sacrifice, but increasing your allies' attack. <laughs> Which is not half bad. I mean, it's just for one turn. So, yeah, that's not all that bad. Alright, his third attack is dynamic punch he has a 60% chance of stunning and a hundred percent chance of decreasing incoming damage by 70% for one turn Jesus that's actually pretty good all right his normal basics hot-blooded instinct when attacking or being attacked each stack increases your crit chance by 25% does it have a cap that is the question here Oh, letting a critical attack consumes all of your hot-blooded instinct. Okay, so that's not that bad. So you would just want to basically build crit damage on him. There's no point in building crit chance. So this guy can be like a real powerhouse when it comes to damage. And plus he's a water type. I wish I could farm <laughs> these dungeons, but I'm still working on my team and all the different elements and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I can't really do all these events right now, especially since already struggling with the new dungeon that has the event going around it <laughs> until I made my uh, Ramu. But we're going to talk about that later in the video. Uh, we got to finish this first. Inflicts additional damage off your counter damage and your multi strike. Nice, nice, nice. All right, what's this level 60 looking like? Increases crit damage by 20% for two turns upon landing a crit attack. Stacks twice. So you can still build crit chance on him. But I feel like destruction runes will be way better for this dude. Decreases the incoming damage by 70% for two turns. And grants counter attack when the caster's HP is below 5%. Well, 50%. And that only happens for once per battle. Huh? huh? Wait, hold on. So you can't really... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, you can't really manage that. But it's just talking about this... This whole sentence is basically to this once per match. When his HP is below 50%. Okay. Okay, I get it. Alright, so now we got Jacqueline. Let's... Oh, yeah, we didn't look at his... Um, hold on. What is this? Okay, he just gets counter chance. Eh, it's alright. What does Jacqueline have for hers? Eh, multi strike for wind and dark. Not bad. Alright, Jacqueline, what do you have for your skills? Alright, it can attack up to two or three people, depending on where you place it. Has a chance of inflicting additional damage if a target has an optimal effect. Which is actually pretty nice. Let's see. Attacks up to three people. Has a chance of putting a target to sleep for one turn. Has a chance to put targets to sleep for two turns if, if somebody already has it like a debuff on them. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Can attack up to three enemies. Has a chance to stun and inflict additional damage for it. Each debuff. Oh. Jacqueline. Jack is not half bad. Jesus. 
Now we have to see what her passives are. Does, it, does her passive like work well with her? Has 80% chance of removing an abnormal effect. Oh, okay, I, I was, I cut off right here. Has a chance of removing, oh, so this is kind of a counter to Rue. Has a chance of removing abnormal status immunity. And pretty much at the start of her turn, so that's actually pretty good. That's a counter to Rue for when she put her status elements up. And who was it? There's another dude that does it too. Is he on here? Or is he somewhere else? Um Nope, not it. Hold on. No, he's not in here. I think I passed him. Oh, no, there he is. Pretty sure this character has it as well. Yeah. I, I thought so. So that's also a counter to him for his third skill. If you guys are having like a heavy effect team. Or debuff team. Alright, so... Back to Jack, she has a 20% chance to put a target to sleep if they have an odd normal status for one turn. Okay, that's that's pretty nice too. Has a 50% chance to remove all buffs from the... Oh! So if they have an odd normal status too, you can remove all their buffs. That's... Jack is actually pretty dangerous. I might actually summon for her. Jeez. All right, let's see her level 60. Inflicts additional damage on targets who've been debuffed. That's 100% to deal damage to targets who finish the turn without defending or using a skill. Oh. So if they pretty much do nothing, then that pretty much opens them up to this. Jack is really nice. And she also has a 50% chance to force that enemy to reveal weakness. So I'm guessing they would take extra damage. Alright, I actually might summon for her. She's really good. But we have to see Edwin's skills now. Alright. So he's good for dark and lights, so pretty much a neutral team. Oh, we're going to go through these first. Alright, Edward, what do you have? Your first skill attacks two targets, has a 35% chance of applying Verdict Signet. I'm pretty sure that's a... I, I think that means bookmark in French, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to try to get into all that. But his second skill increases the caster's attack by 30% and increases its crit chance by 30% for one turn. Nice, 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 nice. Third skill attacks all with penetration damage as well and decreases the target's. Ooh. Oh. It decreases the target's chance to heal. So you can't heal at all with this around, unless you can remove this, like like Rue can, like Rue can, you know. <laughs> but this is good for PvP. If you don't have a cane, and Edwin is a second best, but Kane pretty much has his basics that just pretty much has a chance to take this down. Wait, what was Kane's chance of that happening? Well, actually, eh. I'm pretty sure you still have the same chance either way, but Kane's way better at what he does here. All right, and Prince Verdict Signet on two enemies for two turns at the start of the turn. At the start of his turn, I should start saying that. Inflicts additional 30% and activates special effect based on the type. Huh? Hold up. 
based on the type when attacking the target. So it's just, just like... Oh, okay. I was thinking it was like elements at first. I don't know why I thought it was element. I was just like, wait, what does type mean? But he was talking about the actual like class and stuff like that. Alright, for attackers, they have a 100% chance of getting uh, Melancholy for one turn. Defense types get Defense Noor. So I guess these effects apply to them, so he would get this effect on him, and Defense Noor means pretty much probably any attack hurts them, is what I want to say. But then again, this doesn't... Hmm... <laughs> Confusing. And supports get silence or have a 50% chance of getting silence. And hybrids decreases the caster's cooldown. Okay. Edwin's gonna be interesting to see in PvP for sure. I'm pretty sure that's where everybody's gonna carry him. But his. Level 60 skill removes one buff from an enemy affected with his uh, verdict at the start of the turn. Has a 70% chance to acquire barrier signet when attacking. Consume all barrier signets to negate damage taken when attacked. Obtain three barrier signets at the start of the wave. Okay. That's not half bad. That's honestly not half bad. Okay. So, Edwin's alright, but I won't jack. So, I'm gonna be summoning for her. I at least think three summons should be fine. Um, if I don't get her, I just don't get her. And plus, this banner is like way better for me in the first place. So, perfect place to summon. So, let's get started. Then, after this, I'm going to show you guys my. Well, pretty much at the end of the video, towards the end of the video, I'll show you guys my multi-plays. With the new um, event that's going on. And unfortunately, I did not get a double SR from this. So I'm going to go through all the SRs. Instead of just skipping through them all. And all the R's are just pretty much worthless for me. Rosetta. All right, next. Come on, game, work with me. Oh, wow, there are no good summons for me today. I just got no luck. Jeez, that's unfortunate. The reason I'm not all that down on it is just because uh, I can still use this stuff for food, which helps me. <laughs> Alright, what are we going to get? Wow, nothing today. Jeez. Yeah, I think I'm not going to summon on this banner anymore. Yeah, I think I'm done with summoning into the next banner. Jeez, I just don't have any luck today. <laughs> A lot of SRs though. Yeah, a lot of SRs. She is. Ah, Vincent. I've been trying to get him for a while. I'm happy with that. Just because his like mechanic kind of like really interests me. Oh, yeah, I might call it. Yeah, whatever it is. Uh, let's go look at that effect. I've been trying to figure out this freaking effect for a while. Okay, why did I go to the codex? Brain farts. Oh, it's quiet in here? What the hell? This is odd. I think it is a debuff. Yeah, there it is. Buffs can... Okay. So buffs can be applied. Okay. Noted.
I don't know why Codex is so quiet. But everybody was doing runs inside of here. Uh, we just recently finished all of our runs and we're going to summon for this. Just see how this is. Fifth place. Fifth place. Fourth place. You can also get uh, a Bitten for this. Or Breton. Third place. Uh, can I get a uh, first place? You know? Or at least something better over here. You know what? Fourth place is fine too. Because I need more of those. Okay, we got third. But yeah, you can only do these these runs 10 times a day. Which, there are some troubles going on inside of multiplayer at the moment. Trying to get in and stuff like that. Which you guys will see when I show you my multiplayer. God, I hate that. I think it's there. Come on, go down. Yeah, you can only do 10 runs of this. I'm already done, so I can't go back in here anymore. But I will show you guys my runs in a few seconds. Let me just grab all this. And yeah, the wars aren't half bad. But yeah, we already figured out the whole boss situation. Um, our last run just pretty much talks about it, but I'll talk about it here. So pretty much how this boss goes is that you you are going to need a wind, fire, and water. That is crucial. <laughs> You're going to need all three because the water is supposed to take out the fire shield and the wind is supposed to take out the water shield and the fires are supposed to finish off the boss. So you have to open up a path to the boss for the fires to actually fight. And I know there's mostly fire units that that are in the game that everybody uses because I have a whole full fire team on me, which is kind of annoying. And the reason we're not allowed to use lights and darks is because they're neutral to pretty much everyone. And that wouldn't even help anyone in the first place, considering it's all towards element. But yeah, would have been like really annoying to finish all this out if everybody didn't know what to do but we already went in with a team with full fire and everything and it did not work out so I'm going to skip that run <laughs> because it took way longer than I needed it to be it took like let's say 20 to 30 minutes for everyone to die to be honest I wanted to leave the room but everybody else was still going and I didn't want to be a complete asshole and just leave but I did get Ramu to 54. Now here's the thing. You don't really need any character higher than 54. It doesn't have to be level 60. It's just that it's easier with level 60. But it's still extremely easy with just level 54. Because I use my Ramu to take out, to take out the water shield. Which is pretty easy and this is the damage I'm doing I don't even have runes on her I'm pretty sure hold on do I yeah she has no runes on her and yet she can still take it out easily if I had runes on her then she'll be able to one shot it but it only takes like two turns to take it out depending on if I actually crit if I crit then I take it out pretty much in one shot so I need to put on runes on her now so she could just hit it off one turn so yeah that's just to pretty much let you guys know i'm gonna let you guys off here because that's pretty much all i had to show and peace out hope you guys enjoy the event and wish you guys luck on getting this character yeah i'm gonna be trying for him every day <laughs> good luck to you guys peace out all right, so we're going to get into the Haspil's Dungeon Assault. Um, it is one star, but from what I heard, he hits pretty hard. But for some reason, I can't create a room. 
Hold on. Oh, there we go. Wait, what the hell just happened? Jesus Christ. We're gonna try it out and see how this goes. Uh, the next run we're gonna do with the guild members and see how we can do with that. It's gonna be my first run ever. So there is an event for this, uh, which you guys have probably already seen. I'm recording this separate. Oh, the hell? Oh, this is gonna be weird. Did this dude really just leave? Okay. One reason why I hate doing multiplayer is because people randomly up and leave. There we go. All that damage. Perfect. Alright, his run is actually not all that bad. That I know of. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Alright, it's actually easier than we thought. Just take out the... Just take out his little, uh, shields first, then you get to attack him. Pretty easy. Uh, so guys, we ran into a few issues. It apparently applies to guild members getting into the place to where the whole, like, join the party thing is kind of bugged. Ferdy was trying to get in, but it was also messing up. So it... It's happening for both ways. Even he's tried to auto join and it kind of bugs out as well. So once I turned on um, public match, everybody got in like quick as hell. So there's a lot of people queuing up for this just to finish their 10 runs today. So yeah, pretty much after this video, I'm going to try to get my runs through just because I don't know if it's going to take them the whole day to fix this or if it's going to take them later on to fix this. But I don't want to miss a day on this rewards because I could be like far behind and I don't want that and that would suck because this would basically make us miss a whole day if this bug isn't fixed before the day ends. So you guys could probably be behind one day which would really suck so I recommend going through the struggle and trying to get your 10 matches out of the way if anything. But right now Leafa is a very good selection for me since I can just buff off the first turn and give everybody the damage. You guys saw how much damage I did off, well, just pretty much off her third attack with the buff going. And plus, I actually tanked a decent amount of the attack, but I wish our teammate wouldn't have left and just left me in charge because I knew nothing about that character and I forgot she had a penetration on her second skill, which kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, we're waiting for him to restart his app, and we'll see if that works. If not, we're just going to go in with Platuki here, and we'll see how everything goes. We'll open up a room. I was going to put Elektra in here, but I want to see everybody else's pretty much see. My Elektra is only 54 at the moment, which would not be all that useful here. The only reason we're trying to get a... Uh, in because he's a low level and he could probably use these rewards but it's actually pretty interesting that they made an event to where you can get an actual uh, SSR off of like this dungeon it's it's actually pretty nice that they're doing you know a, a more interesting event a more lenient event to where everybody else can join in they would just have to strategize together instead of just putting out the real extremely difficult dungeons that we all have to strategize with and 
annoyingly come up with a team with. But overall, it's actually pretty good. It's not all that difficult. I'm pretty sure Ferdy only has a level 54 Morgan since he only started like three days ago. We're going to see how easy it is to carry a newer player. But that will be if he can actually get in here. So, be right back once again. Alright, as for this one, I'm going to start focusing on Ramu just to be able to join this event a lot easier. There we go. Platt finally got in. Now, we gotta hope that others will bring a wind. Which we really need. Since I don't have a wind. If I had a wind, and since there's more like powerful fire characters, if anything. Which, yeah, there's more powerful like fire characters than anything in this game for some reason. We need a wind, and I don't know. If anything, if, <laughs> I don't know if people are going to come in with, like, fires only. This is kind of difficult to do. If, if we have a Ramu, then I'll be fine with that. She'll be doing her job. But I'll probably give it to tomorrow for me to be done with my Ramu and be able to do this a lot easier. Oh, never mind. There we go. We got the whole team figured out. Thank God. Somebody who knows how it goes. Um. All right. I don't think anybody else is joining, so I might bring. All right, there we go. We're just gonna do that. We're gonna bring Electra for her shields. I just noticed it was a uh, me that just came in, another guild member. <laughs> of course, they know what to do because we were just talking about it in chat. <laughs> that pretty much helps us in our situation. Uh, fire. Do you ever write their increase? Perfect. There we go. Uh, can't tell it right now. There we go. She... Well, Platt should be able to take out this. So he should be fine. Because he does no, like, real normal damage to it. There we go. And dead. 
There we go. So, I need to work on a separate team, actually. Because I can technically just solo this if I can get my Mei to this level, too. Alright. Well, guys, that's pretty much how you beat it. Easier runs. So, I'm gonna cut this, the rest of the farming out of the video, and we'll pretty much end off here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time.